Okay, so we just have to set up a time for this. Yes, the recording has started. The microphone is working just fine. Wow, okay. Yes, recording has started. Okay. And... Are we all good? My face is not that important now. It's perfect. Perfect, sir. <laughs> hey, hi, everybody. <laughs> I will cut out all that stuff. That's okay. <laughs> Here I am. Okay. A microphone. I need a crew. What is microphone? Yeah. <laughs> And you need a traveling crew. We'll have to bring along a traveling crew if we have uh, to go anywhere. I can help you with all that though. Find us for five. Find us for five. All is good. All is good. Jim is here. All is perfect. My hands are cold, but your know, head is warm, so I can warm my hands. Yeah, my head is. It feels good actually. Uh huh. You can now channel if you like. Okay. Keshe is invited, everybody else is invited. Who is good? Okay. I haven't sensed Lakesh around yet. He's due to arrive. We need Lakesh mm -hmm. to answer questions. But you know, if somebody else comes, it would be fine as well. We can delay the questions. People are eager, but whatever, what can we do? Mm -hmm. Well, I know what he feels like he comes around, so mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him to come around. Well, Lakesh? Yes. Welcome. Thank you for coming through. Uh, I needed you. Yes, I, they said. Yes. Uh, what so, did you need? <laughs> so, uh, last time you answered many questions from different people. And oh, then, yes, I remember. Yes. In conjunction with Jesus coming through, created a great excitement. People were really happy. Lots of people came to the side, registered, oh, wow. commented. Very nice. Some shared their stories. Um, Thanks to Lulu sharing her story, and um, wow, many good new questions asked. Mm, I have now yeah. six pages of condensed oh. questions for you. Well, I can't stay a long time, but see what you can do. What you can do, right? Yes. All right. So let's start with the questions, if you don't mind. Oh, first question is general. Can, are you in a position to divulge the name of a new race which joined Kirk Fitness? Not as of yet. They will announce it themselves. I am not to give that away. They are still in the final stages of, uh, of uh, connection, should I put it. 
All right. So our dear friend Mike. Mike uh, Lagoni, who is uh, an admin on the site, helping very much with the site, asks about his frequency. Mm -hmm. Michael, hold on. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to him. Yes. He is 4.6. Hey! Congratulations, Mike. What is holding him from becoming 5.6? Um, growth, purity, get those, get, become a little more pure in your, your body. Your, there are things in you, emotions, you seem to be a very, very great person as far as personality and getting along with others, but there's a couple hidden things in your, that you need to just get out of your system, and your, your vibration will rise from that, but you're very, you get along with people very well, so happy to see that. Uh, thank you. Uh, what is the cause of the sound in his ears? He has... Yes. Okay, do you know? Yes, well, there's, he has aliens around him. So he's being monitored. He's a high vibration person, so they're very interested in what he has to think and say. Uh, they don't know all the things he thinks and says, of course, but um, the high frequency vibration is a sound that can be made by certain species whenever they are um, doing some analyzation. How does that agree? Um, one of the groups around him is a Zeta Gray group, yes. So the high, high clear pitch in right here would be Zeta Gray pitch? Well, it's a combination. There's two different species around him, and the combination of their two vibrations, their two frequencies, make this particular pitch. Are there reptilians? There is a reptilian. Yes, how did you know that? So reptilians and Zetas? Yes. Are they good reptilians or bad reptilians? They are good. The ones which speak to us? The ones that spoke to you. Thank you. Great uh, help. Uh, mm. uh, what do, what, uh, so he asks uh, about the use of yellow and pink colors to help the connection. Yellow and pink? Yeah. Color can help. It doesn't necessarily have to be yellow and pink. Mm -hmm. um, but if you focus on the vibration itself, colors will appear. Um, instead of letting it just happen, if you focus on that vibration dual frequency, the colors will appear that will help you. And it's different in each individual. So if pink and yellow are the colors that you see when you think about that vibration, then yes, those are the colors you should think about if you want to help them out with their analysis. Uh, I've got a new friend on the website. His name is Robbie. He is a DJ in UK. Okay. And he recently had a missed time. The whole hour he just disappeared from his life. Yes. What was that? One moment, please. I have to ask these two if I am permitted to speak about this. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can speak to some parts of it, yes. Okay. Um, this was not an abduction. Right. It was, however, a vortex move on the, from an alien species. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't aware of how it would affect him, but it affected him as going unconscious. And they did bring him back after uh, some time, but his um, vibration is high, but it's kept down by some of the things that he actually listens to. Um, but um, that's okay. He realizes 
how to protect himself from that. So, ah, um, he's pretty good at protecting himself because he knows what the light can do and he knows what energies are positive, so he is actually pretty well informed on that level. He did, however, have a blackout. We'll oh. call it that. Okay. And um, it was from reptilians. By the way, what? Um, that they did not tell me. All right. They just said reptilian. They did not say bad or good. What's his frequency? His frequency is 4.35. Does he have hybrid children? No, not at this time. Have he ever been taken up there? They had actually thought about it, but they had did not abduct him. He did have visitations, though. What's percent of alien DNA in him? That is a good question. He is hybrid. And he is fairly high. 12% um, hybrid. Pleiadian? No. Ah, can you divulge? It is a... let me ask. Yes, they do not mind me saying that he has Yu-Yil. Wow. 12%. 12% Yu-Yil can survive on Earth. I didn't realize that. It's, it's a newer experiment that they have. He is one of the few successes. Wow. That they found that his makeup would be able to handle that. And he knows this, that he's partially gray, I believe. Wow. I'm not sure that he does, but some of his thought patterns would suggest to me that he does. Can you link, can he link in Yale consciousness? No, he cannot. That is not one of the abilities he was given. Oh, intentionally not. Okay. It's intentionally not, yes. But 12% does change his physiology somewhat and he looks a little bit more alien than some people do. I didn't see that, but I did, I saw the photograph, I didn't see him video. Uh, he has red hair and both of us, him and I, ask, and he looks a bit like I, um, we have common common features of red-haired people. Um, where, he asks where from does red hair come to the earth, <laughs> from, from the aliens, which aliens brought it? Actually it's a mix, a mix of things that causes red hair on your planet, mm -hmm. um, but it's not uh, normal for any of the aliens to have brought it okay. necessarily. Fine. But the intermingling of DNAs brings about red hair. Which ones? Um, they... what is the name of that species? They're, they're no longer around, but they were on the Earth many, many centuries ago. But now they're on the far side of the... they're not even in this galaxy, actually. Um, they have since gone to a different galaxy. Um, so there were Vikings? Oh, yes. What were they called? Oh, and you don't really have... They haven't visited the Earth, so you don't have them in your log. They haven't visited the Earth within uh, these scientific times when they're logging the alien species. So, the they're fourth dimension creatures, though. Okay. The Sesme. The Sesme. Can you spell it out? Sesme. S E S Z M I. Thank you. All right, so, related question. People ask about Indians, especially Canadian native Indians. Yes. Where from did they come? Um, they are of an alien origin. Yeah. Oh. 
I am just not getting the information that I need. That's not readily available to me right fine, now. Fine, fine, whatever. How about Cherokee Nation uh, being from yes. Pleiades and Atlantis? There's some truth to that. Um, they are more Atlantean than they are Pleiadian. So, yes, that is true. All right, switching to our dear friend Lulu. She wrote a nice story about her on her on our site. Mm. Have you read it? No. Well, now let's ask general questions. Her life mission. She asks about life mission. Can you help with that? Her life mission. Let me connect with her. She appears to be a caregiver. Mm -hmm. What's your frequency in numbers? Just frequency, spiritual frequency. 4.47. Uh, when was she abducted? This dude said she was abducted. Yes. Uh, who abducted when and uh, for what purpose? She was abducted more than once. Okay. And for the purpose of understanding a certain thought pattern that doesn't exist very often in humankind. And this is the total balance of giving and taking. She is in balance with that, and not many people are. Does that make sense to you? She has a balance of giving and taking, which makes her very... She, she's very, uh, what's the word? Advanced, I guess, would be the word. She is like a telepath in the sense that she knows exactly what to do at the right times. Mm -hmm. She's good with that. And she is a caregiver, and she is going to be a caregiver. <laughs> she would. She wants to know probably if if she should do anything to promote that, it, like go to take college courses or something. Mm -hmm. Is that what she wants to know? I think she has probably the. An, wait. Does it mention her education there? Oh uh, no. I did not think so. Some education would be helpful. <laughs> of course. All right, some education. Yes, um, what prevents her growth? She is preventing her own growth because she feels that she's in a position where she's not, she's stabilized and not moving. She needs to believe that her growth is continuing, which it is. She is actually still growing, and she's not aware of it, but she is still growing. There's nothing really holding her back except for herself, thinking that she's not growing. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Uh, she has scheduled, a, she is scheduling a session with you, so she will yes. still have a personal conversation. But he also asks, she also asks about Elal Kishmet, Elal Kimeshet, Elal Kimesh, Elal Kimeshet. Oh, that's the Al, the Al, yes, where did you hear that word? Elal Kimeshet. What are these guys? Elal Kimeshet is the planet where Arian is from. Arian? Yes. Okay, what you is that? Arian. Yes. It's a, a planet that's in great wars right now. Oh. And they're, but it looks like peace will be coming to that planet for pretty soon. Very good. L.L. Kimshet, I'm surprised. Where did she hear that? A secret. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it does matter. 
Somebody yes. tells her. Somebody yes. tells her. Yes. LL Kimshed is a planet, yes. What the, how do they look? Um, they're humanoid. Are they warriors? They are not warriors, but they are being attacked by war a warrior species. Um, they have had to take up the, the sword in this case because there was no other choice. Uh, are they, do they have families? Yes, they do. And th they have uh, great kings and they're a very royal kind of planet. They go by kings and queens and, and, and they're very much like our, our ancient past in that way, but yet it's so much more sophisticated. You said our ancient past, meaning Earth's ancient past. No, our ancient past. Blues. Yes, okay. our ancient past. And, um, well, actually, Earth ancient past as well. So, mm -hmm. yes, you're right. There is a connection okay. there. And, um, and that's why they chose Earth for some of their uh, refugees. Ah. There are several... Spiritual. Spiritual. Yes. Not genetic. Not genetic. Spiritual refugees from this planet are on Earth right now. So this would be first incarnation of this soul on Earth. Yes. Very interesting. Are they connected to us genetically in any way? Are we relatives? No, they've come here recently. And this is sort of a, a secret, like she said, that they're here because they're just here for temporary refuge and then they will be going back to their planet. Only the souls, not physical. Correct. Are they third dimension? They are third dimension now. They were. They had to become third dimension to, to survive here. So ah, they, they had their, the spiritual third dimension. Yes. They went from the fourth to third. Um, that is not exactly known, because of all the confusion that's happening there. They are at least fourth dimensional. Oh, so they're very advanced coming down. Yes, but yet they're set up in very ancient traditions. Are they technically advanced? Yes. Are they telepathic? Um, yes. So the, these people who incarnate here, they come from telepathic society, but which is very royal and other things. Very yes. interesting. I'm jumping to the next person. Um, Nestlightning. Nestlightning. Okay. Do you know this guy? Uh, his name is Peter. Peter. Yes. Frequency. He's committed to help us on the administration of the site and the filming project. So very helpful oh. person. Excuse me, I zoomed out there for a moment. It's fine. They uh, they called me back for just one second, so, and I was I didn't even hear. Could you please repeat that, please? Nias Lighting. Yes. Also called Peter. Yes. He is a helper on administration and filming, and he created a logo for this site. Ah oh, yes. One of his questions is: Can you suggest a symbol for our logo? Can, because his logo doesn't have basically any connection to it so far. Okay. What would be a symbol you could give us for a logo for the site, for this human colony that war? I see interlocking pyramids. Perhaps you'd want to use that. I'm not sure what he was looking for, but his vibration is 4.5. Uh -huh. He is... you have many high vibration people. Around. Yes, yes. He is very grounded. Yes. And that I like about him because he is working things properly. Mm -hmm. Unlike me. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> you didn't pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> he is very grounded in working things properly the way they should be. A symbol will come to him. They are oh. telling me that there is a symbol within him that he has an implant and it has a symbol on it, and this is the symbol he will use. Excellent. He invites you personally to connect to him and teach him about the symbol. And maybe he wants to create, he is an animator, he can create 3D animations, which for Earth is 
kind of difficult and unusual. So he's very advanced in creating 3D animation. He wants to create a, uh, an animation illustrating the colony, how the colony is housed on the mothership. Ah. So he wants that image to come to him mentally and he would uh, make it into a cartoon moving 3D animation. Let me speak to you, Peter. I will come to you and you will know that I am there. I will give you a s small sign, as I cannot give a great sign, but I will give you a small sign that I am there and help you with these things. Thank you. What's his extraterrestrial connection? Percent of alien DNA, hybrid children, abduction, any of that? No hybrid children, but he does have some alien DNA. What's percent and what's race? He has 8% of Pleiadian. Uh -huh. I have a lot of, he writes, I have a lot of dreams of different races, but I don't know who they are. What color are they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I will talk to him about that when I talk Ex to him. Uh, two people ask about he and our friend Lenny ask about gold in atmosphere. Gold? In the atmosphere, golden dust in atmosphere. Yes. So Bashar said it's a stupid thing for our governments to spread gold in the atmosphere because it's their own chemical. They, they should spread something else. Yes. What is the question? Uh, is it right that they're spreading the gold and why is it wrong? They stopped doing that. How long ago? Um, actually, a few years ago. So what are these chemtrails doing now? What are they spreading and why? Actually, some of the chemtrails are being removed mm -hmm. by Crook Fickner because one in every so often chemtrails will be removed when a cloud passes by just for the safety of the atmosphere. But they are using dangerous chemicals. That This is true. But I do not think they are using gold any longer. Um, in fact, I know they aren't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Kenneth. Can you connect to Kenneth and give his basic information? Percent, hybrid children. Uh, and he asks if he's on the right path. Kenneth does have a hybrid child. Oh, that's important. What's, what's, how old is the child? What sex? Moment. His path seems to be fine. He has a male hybrid child. How old is he? Not very old. About three years old. Good. Um, no, five years old. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Three, five is okay. Uh, so, um, who, who, who made it? That is a good question. I know that there is a hybrid child. The species is in question. Where is it located? The child? Yes. Is in a ship. Uh huh. In solar system or elsewhere? Elsewhere. But it is a male child, three to five years old, somewhere in that area. I get three, I get five, I get three, I get five. Is it a friendly species? It is a gray species, but it is not one of the ones that we talk about. Thank you. It is another gray species. 
Okay. Thank you. Uh, next, that is all important. Thank you very much. Now next, our friend Justin. He is really helping with video, video editing. Great help. So he asked if he is a hybrid. What's his percent? What's his frequency? Mm, Jason. Justin. 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 I got Justin too, I believe. Yes. Yes, he is a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Did I not give him that percentage before? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we did. I don't have a record of that. Yes, he asked about the percentage. It's risen since the last time we talked. <laughs> and what is the percent? It's 4.377. What's his frequency? 4.377. Is a frequency. What's the percent of alien, alien DNA? 6.2. Thank you. Uh, he says he had multiple visits. Um, yes. What were the people who were visiting? What were the race visited him? He was visited by Pleiadians. Uh huh. And he was visited by another species as well. I can tell which one. They will not let me say. That is fine. But Pleiadians was one of his visitations. He says he has visits in the dreams. Yes. Throughout his life. Yes. What's his holding? What what is holding him from uh, growing his spiritual spirituality? Give him some advice. Ah. <sighs> Let me learn about a little bit more about him first. Thank you. Four point three seven seven. He was higher than that, and he actually went down a little. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there is a negative connection with him that he needs to. Learn to deal with better. Ah, alien connection, which is N negative. Not necessarily alien. Mm. It's a a connection in his life that is that pulls him aside and brings him down. Family connection. I'm not sure if it's family or a friend or a relative or whatever. It's ah. it is a person that does not have a high vibration. A human which has low vibration. Mm. Not, a, not extremely low, but they have anger issues and negativity problems. Oh. Yeah, Justin is very talented, but he doesn't speak and he doesn't, he couldn't go to school much. And he now sits on the computer all day long and plays on the computer and edits our videos and creates music. He's very creative, but his True. life is kind of very unusual in this way. He is Does he say why he doesn't speak? He feels very uncomfortable speaking. That's why he hopes that he... This is that part of that negative influence. There was a traumatization at an early age. Ah, that's what I would think. But there is a negative person that still causes much grief. Yeah. It may be the same person, I'm not sure. Okay. That but helps. there is something else as well. Ah. Oh. The... Hmm. There is a joy factor that has been stifled. Okay. I will help him with this. Wow. Thank you. Oh, Pamela. Pamela asked if she has been abducted. You know Pamela. She is very bright. Shiny. Yes. She has been visited many times. Uh, what are the higher dimensional beings that contact, contact her? 
This is unusual. Uh-huh. Her contacts are unusual because they are they are not the normal aliens who contact humans. Uh-huh. Am I allowed to say? Yes, because she asked to for the public session, yes. She has mm -hmm. one Arcturian visitor. Mm -hmm. Which is very unusual. Arcturians usually do not visit humans. Mm -hmm. She does have a high vibration, very high. Excellent. Any, any, any number? Just what frequency is she? I will tell her when I talk to her. Okay. Should I am not allowed to announce her number. How about you announce and I delete it from the public video? What? I will delete it from broadcast. You Jeez. can say it. Okay. Five. Five zero? Five zero. Thank you. All right. Um, she asks why she has numerous distorted dreams lately. There, there's several reasons. Mm -hmm. the, the contact that have been made has changed her neural net slightly. Uh -huh. Also, she is um, she has a possibility of becoming a channeler. Yes. Uh, she is has many possibilities in her life works to become a higher being in some ways, much greater than a, a normal human being. Frequencies are abound around her, and. Also, telepathy is becoming evident with her heart chakra. Thank you. Uh, now we have a great uh, new member on the side who writes a lot about Pleiadians. Have you read his writing about Pleiadians? Who is it? Star Seeds Apprentice. I have read what he's written to you. Okay. Is his writing about Pleiadians correct? Yes. For the most part. What is incorrect? There are only small things that are not correct. So you may go and read it and have pretty much a good knowledge. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, to go into the small flaws would be unimportant. No, it is important because when you see how small it is, you realize that everything else is right. Yes, okay. Not at this time, though. Fine. Um, she asked for further explanation of his further hybrid shell. Will do. Who will do the hybridizing? Grokfignir? Grokfignir is not involved in hybridization at this time. Mm -hmm. They are more concerned about the survival of the planet and the conditions of the planet. Mm -hmm. So it would not be Grokfrit near, it would be um, Grails or Zetas. Thank you. Just remember, it. we mentioned Arcturians already several times today. We invite Arcturians to come through gym and to speak to us. End of message. Next question is, uh, Starseed's Apprentice asks, how do I tell my friends and family of my spiritual side without scaring them? First, you just be yourself. They will know that you are who you are right now. They know this person, they trust this person, they love this person. Little by little, you'll be able to tell them some things about you that they don't know. And when you tell them, you will know by their reactions that they believe you. You will be believed because you are someone that they do trust and believe in. So if you start talking to them little by little, don't pour out your soul right now, but tell them a little bit and say, I, th I believe, you know, I really believe in aliens and I think maybe one's talking to me or something like that. Something in the nature that is not a common thread of conversation within you and see where their reaction goes. Because 
eventually they're going to have to know all these things because you're going to pull them in to the light with yourself and and they're going to understand some of them will not all some of them will um, he asks about his past alien visitations yes uh, who were these people they were Pleiadians uh-huh he was interviewed uh-huh yes and there were uh, others there, but only in holographic forms. Great. Next, thank you for all the questions. I'm just rushing forward. A uh, Russian is rushing forward. I cannot stay very much longer. Thank you for all you do. Okay. Line is our dear friend, and she asks about the meaning of violet flame. Did I ask you about violet flame? No. Okay. I don't believe you asked me about a violet flame. Yeah. You asked me about fire. Okay. But not about violet. Lani is asking repeatedly about violet flame. And Lani is very light enlightened. So yes. what is it? Violet flame. Is it real? Would I need to do lots of chanting it and so The violet flame is actually a spirit. It's ah. a high spirit. Mm -hmm. So do not be frightened of it. It's it's a an entity that appears only to those that are very enlightened, actually. And you are blessed to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid of it, and do not be hesitant to become part one with it, because it is a a great and knowledgeable entity. Terrific. She asks about life mission and T connections. T connections. E T extraterrestrial. Ah, uh, extraterrestrial connections. There is one right there. The the uh, violet flame. The it's okay. That is her connection to all beings, in fact, that she would want to connect with because they are of a high spiritual connection. How about life mission? Life mission is multifold. You have talents that you know of, and which one of those talents is your greatest joy? You could choose any of those and be successful. Excellent. Dream about men and women. I had, she writes, I had some kind of a dream once about 12 years ago. It has been on my mind on and off. There was a man and a woman hanging around me, smartly dressed, and they were waiting for something. Then they had some dream in which I discovered something big, but then they took it away from me. And I can't remember what it was that I discovered. Like, they erased, erased the memory of what I yes. was was I found. I kind of felt robbed, and I still do. Like twelve, uh, they have taken something that belonged to me. Uh, it all appeared in, as a dream, but not sure uh, if that was it was. I do remember being very ill as well around that time, for about three weeks, possibly after that happened. Yes, it was something that you that you tapped into accidentally a great, something very, very great that you were not supposed to know. Oh. And that is why that they took it back from you. You were not supposed to know this, at least at that time. Perhaps there will become a time when that knowledge will again be available to you. The idea of the sickness was the removal of that whole vision. Mm -hmm. It was an actual vision, and it was more than that. It was, it was almost um, 